Okay, let's watch this. I speak to you tonight <clears throat> from sacred ground in America, Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is where America made its declaration of independence to the world more than two centuries ago <clears throat> with an idea unique among nations that in America, we're all created equal. This is where the United States Constitution was written and debated. This is where we set in motion the most extraordinary experiment of self-government the world had. I'm not going to lie. Brando is absolutely looking a little bit better and sounding a little bit better. I mean, he's coughing here and there, but like ultimately he does sound a lot better. No memes. Okay. We, the people, these two documents and the ideas they embody. Command and conquer. Equality and democracy are the rock upon which this. What is this guy holding in his hands? Why are his hands like lit the fuck up? No, wrong one, wrong one, wrong door. So tonight, I've come to this place where it all began. You know what's really funny about this? Like, Brandon would be like, Republicans are attacking democracy. And then, like, it's the most tepid speech possible that you could deliver. Where they'll be like, and we will not stand for that. And then, you got probably Tucker Carlson going, uh, President Biden delivered an incredible speech last night saying that you should be able to execute white Americans. President Biden declared war on every white person in America. Like, he'll literally just be like, there is an attack on democracy and I will not stand for it. And then Tucker Carlson will literally turn around and say some shit like, we're live from uh, wherever, like the, you know, Arlington, Virginia Cemetery tonight with some incredible news. President Joe Biden has decided to launch an attack on white America. Every single white person is now in the crosshairs of the American military. Back in the day, the American military was an awesome power that destroyed the Middle East. But now that the Afghanistan withdrawal was done so sloppily, <laughs> President Biden has decided to use that same power on our fellow citizens. To speak as plainly as I can to the nation. Mr. Unity just gave the most divisive presidential speech I've ever seen exactly. Republicans will literally be like, Democrats are all satanic pedophiles that deserve to be murdered because they are all having gay baby orgies on Jeffrey Epstein's plane, okay? Like, that'll be like a Republican campaign message. And then they turn around and go, wow, I can't believe the Democrats are so divisive because they said Republicans are out of control.